Do you think Darth Vader's ever had to deal with a henchman or a rebel that was into getting choked? You know, he starts force choking them and they tell him to go harder? <laughs> Search your feelings, Luke. You know it to be true. I am your force choke me daddy. <laughs> I hate myself. What are you all looking at? What's up guys, welcome back to Paint the Town Red. Uh, that game where you're just as likely to be standing in line at a KFC as you are to be getting eaten alive by an SCP. Now what exactly are we gonna be doing today? I have no idea, which is honestly like half the fun. We'll start things off with a level called Undersea Facility, which I thought sounded really interesting because I can't remember ever having played an underwater level in Paint the Town Red. Like, I, I can't remember if meaty little cubes can float and that's something that I definitely wanna find out. Sir, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna punch you into little cubes. Unless you come at me first, in which case you're getting cubified. <gasps> what exactly is this? Are we underwater right now? It's kinda hard to tell. Usually underwater doesn't have a front desk, so I'm a little confused. They're gonna be judging me. Yeah. Underwater doesn't usually require stairs. So, I'm guessing this must be the facility part of Undersea Facility? You know, judging by the cafeteria, but why are you guys all wearing scuba gear indoors? It's just not adding up. <laughs> and is that our logo? Our logo sucks! It looks like the Game Freak logo when somebody forgot to blow in the Pokemon cartridge. You'd think finding the ocean when you're apparently at the bottom of it would be pretty simple, right? But I've only managed to find the crowbar inspection room and the taser inspection room. And Ted, Ted, stop staring at me, so help me God, I will punch you right in your beautiful face. I just don't get it. There's gotta be ocean around here somewhere, otherwise, you know, what's the point? There we go, okay. So, oh. This is like a, a tunnel, right? So we are in air right now and that would be underwater and the tunnels connect the facilities. Interesting, why couldn't any of you have pointed that out? And why are you wearing your gear indoors? Are you expecting this place to fail? <laughs> I mean, I understand because this does not look all too sturdy, but at the same time, it's a little bit concerning that I wasn't issued a mask. I was issued an underwater double barrel shotgun with five shots. Don't ask me how that math works. Is it bad that I assume the bottom of the ocean would have been more, you know, evil, terrifying, you know, all these dark, deep dwelling sea monsters getting ready to attack us rather than a bunch of plants and coral and rocks and stuff like that? <laughs> Maybe all the evil stuff is in the giant ancient cave. Okay, yeah, I guess that's where we're going. Uh, let's go down first, because this seems to be some kind of arrival station. These look like trains, which doesn't make all that much sense. You'd think people would arrive here by submarine, but sure, we'll go with it. <laughs> They've got a great monorail system down here. You don't question it. What are the cages for, guys? You don't usually cage coral. I'm really happy that I picked up this shotgun no matter how many shots it has. Judging by my shotgun wielding arms, I'm wearing nothing but a white t-shirt. Like everyone in here is decked head to toe in scuba gear and I don't even have sleeves. <gasps> Was there a mistake? Did I not get issued the right gear? Maybe there's some extra gear around here somewhere. Am I supposed to poke around? Ooh, there's a whole bunch of stuff back here. Maybe a little bit more scuba gear? No, med stations. Uh, I don't know how I feel about there being med stations. <laughs> on the one hand, it means if I pop like a balloon, then they might be able to put me back together. But on the other hand, it usually means that bad things happen. Those see guys got a pickaxe and a, a door that isn't doing a whole lot. Okay. Oh, they're like inspecting what, local weaponry? Are there locals around here? Should I be concerned? I'm like 99% sure that this shotgun isn't gonna be able to save me from water pressure, so fingers crossed that when I step outside, I don't get crushed like a tin can. No? I'm good. Okay, maybe I'm just paranoid. No, maybe those weren't weapons. They're just rocks, and this is a mining expedition. 
No, a peaceful mining expedition. Nothing strange happening here. I have no doubt that everything is completely normal in the ancient undersea cavern. That's a little strange. That's even more strange. Not seeing any locals, but we've got some serious Assassin's Creed Odyssey vibes going here. So, we've got a bunch of godly weapons and Genji swords. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm clearly gonna take this. Oh, I think it's... Is it possessing me? Is it telling me to kill, kill, never stop? <laughs> Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's the fact that I don't need a suit because I'm from Atlantis and you guys aren't. <laughs> oh. Wow, they were really just looking for an excuse to go off. <laughs> this is what happens when you guys don't unionize, okay? It just creates a whole bunch of tension between the upper and lower management. I could deal with that, but you're not gonna feel any tension, mainly because I'm cutting out that part of your brain, not because I've actually alleviated the situation. I completely forgot that if you jump, you could do a downward stroke in this, which is <laughs> real effective. <laughs> Come on now, wait, wait, where are you going? Get, get back here, I know it looks ridiculous that I'm hopping around, but if anything, I'm underwater, so it kind of makes sense, right? You'd be all over the place down here. Stop running for, stop, stop your running. Why does everyone run? <laughs> stop it, there we go. Yeah, I wish you gave me a scuba suit now, or you could decide to put a little bit of armor in that scuba suit. It's sure not doing anything with Genji swords. <laughs> I feel almost bad, but not really. I mean, they're the ones that are desecrating my ancestral area of heritage and holiness and, and sacredility. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Shut up. Oh, oh, interesting. So it looks like meaty little cubes don't necessarily float. I mean, there's really only one way of positively finding out. We're just gonna have to. You stay right there. I, I gotta go and, and do something for science. <laughs> science! They're kind of floating, but I feel like it's because I'm manipulating time, not because they're underwater. Yeah, they're still falling in, in my eyes. That's always a distraction. Oh, right hook. Yeah, you felt that one. <laughs> that guy a little bit stronger? What just happened there? Maybe he got the one good helmet. Oh, I'll be right back. I need my swords. If I really am Aquaman, I'm pretty sure my only standout ability is that I can talk to fish. Right, other than being super strong and breathing underwater and all that stuff, I don't think I can make people hate one another. So I'm thinking that this isn't my doing. Maybe they saw Batman versus Superman and now they're having disagreeing opinions? <laughs> Can't quite tell, you know what? I enjoyed it, I thought it was a fun movie. It didn't need to be perfect. People judge DC too much even though their stuff is super mediocre in comparison to Marvel. Yeah, how do you guys feel about that? That's what I thought. <laughs> you see, that's how you win over people, by sharing your opinion with the sword. Speaking of the sword, I don't know what kind of Kryptonian MacGuffin it is, but it is just not breaking. I've cut through like a hundred plus people and it does not care in the slightest. There's only five left. I would imagine they're back in the main lobby. I'm working my way back to the airlock that brought me in here. I think, oh no, looks like I've been through here. Just a subtle assumption. I can hear yelling. I can stop tripping over all the bodies. There we go. Okay, one, two, three, two more. Two more. Oh my god, they could be anywhere. Wait a second, how did you guys get down there? I don't think I could go down there, can I? Oh, I can! Wait, what? I didn't think I could go all the way out here in the water. Well then, I guess I should thank you guys for, for reminding me that I am in fact Aquaman and I can run around in the bottom and I'm not gonna go back to the surface so I don't even need to find the airlock, the level's over. Keeping with the underwater theme of the episode so far, we're gonna move on to a level called Steal the Krabby Patty Formula. And yes, this is a SpongeBob level, but no, I'm probably not gonna get many of the references because I haven't watched a whole lot of SpongeBob. Like, my main exposure to him has been through memes, so let's see how far the memes take me. For example, I have no idea what this is. I would imagine it's some kind of evil screen that Plankton is looking at all the time. Speak of the devil, except I don't think that's plankton. Like, plankton is kind of more bluish. That looks more like a drunken, gun-wielding, one-eyed pickle Rick. 
Hey, Pickle Plankton, I know you're probably having a hard time seeing straight, considering you're like seven beers deep and only have one eye, but do you think I could maybe borrow your AK? It'd make going next door and getting that recipe a whole lot easier. I'm gonna take that as a yes, and I'm also curious why Plankton has an AK-47. <laughs> Strange. Actually, that being said, I don't even know how this level's really gonna work, because I don't think I downloaded any custom skins. Yeah, I don't need to have seen the show to know that there isn't a smoking pirate out in front of the Krusty Krab. <laughs> that does not look like Squidward or Spongebob. Well, that's a bummer. It would've been really cool to have them be custom characters. Do I just kind of walk out back and grab the recipe? Maybe I can go in here? What do we have behind? Oh. Well, that guy's taking a very happy pee. <laughs> I think? Uh, that might not be a pee. You don't usually do this when you pee. Listen, you might be a little bit too bearded and wrinkly to look like Squidward, but if you want to act like him, then maybe get the hobo that's jacking off in your bathroom to go away. <laughs> it's a real turnoff. Trust me, customers are not going to appreciate that. Let's see what's back here. Oh, well, if it isn't the crab himself. Uh, that recipe around here, bud? Your, your table is a, a real piece of crap. Oh, don't be like that. I was, oh. Oh, maybe he keeps it in there? You got a button around here somewhere, maybe? Doesn't look like it. Okay, listen, you guys just gotta calm down. Everyone, calm down. <laughs> this is not how I wanted to attack the Krabby Patty. Oh, I think that should lead to the recipe. Let's see what SpongeBob is up to first. There we go. Oh, ow, 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 stop it. Stop it. I think we're in the clear. Man, Plankton should have done this a long time ago. Um, huh. No, you know what? Maybe the recipe isn't worth it. Maybe I, I don't care that much. Wait, does this thing, this thing has infinite ammo. No, I take it back. No, we're good. We, we are good. <laughs> They're a little bit concerned that I'm breaking in, but we should be able to deal with them soon enough. You really gotta feel bad for the big guy, because the crab didn't even spring to buy him a big shield. He was wielding a regular sized shield, and I think I just kind of accidentally killed him in the crossfire. <laughs> These guys aren't even interested in fighting me by the looks of it. Well, too bad, you're, you're in my way. You dead? You're dead now. And this should be the recipe. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's there we go. I spilled it. Uh. Okay, you know what? No, I'm getting out of here. I'm going back to the service. Our next level is called Coffin Dance. I don't think it's going to be much of a level. I just wanted to use this as the thumbnail of the video and needed an excuse. I started off in this weird little room with what I can only assume is my husband. Yeah, five o'clock shadow makes me think husband. I'm just a little concerned with the fact that all we own are a couple cardboard boxes and that we poop within inches of where we sleep, which is the floor. I guess we might as well fill up that coffin, shouldn't we? Oh, 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 no, no, I don't actually want to fight them. I figured they would keep dancing while I kill people, you know? Because death is kind of their thing. It's good for business, I would imagine. Why does everybody poop right next to where they sleep? Even animals don't do that. Oh, come on. No, I don't want to beat them up. They're cool. I like their dance. I can't even use the freaking coffin dance music because it's probably copyrighted out the wazoo. <laughs> Disappointing to no end, but I'm really happy that somebody took the time to actually make the skins. That's the biggest thing. I mean, this is just a floating box for them to dance around. I just deke the absolute crap out of that guy without even thinking. <laughs> it's second nature to avoid getting hit in this game now. Nine left? Oh yeah, this should be easy enough. Are we underwater again? Why are we constantly underwater? Why are you guys wearing weird Quaker hats? Get out of here. Come on now. Sit, sit down. Everyone, sit, everyone in the coffin. We'll find more dancers, I promise. There's, there's gotta be more of them around here somewhere, right? Do you guys have like a talent agent or something? Oh, there he is. Okay, yeah, I, I found him. I would like to hire more dancers. Could you maybe get that through your skull? Find, find some more coffin dancers? Hello? How is he not dead? Um, um, we got problems. 
<laughs> I've broken everything on everyone. Never mind. Hey, how's it going? Catch. Really? <gasps> Come on. No, it's. How is it broken? It's perfectly fine. Can you please just not freak out? There's got to be something here to hit him with. For the love of God. Where'd my husband go? I got bottles. Oh, bottle is all I needed. Did need bottles. Okay, good. Well, that was definitely a level. I won't say it was much of a level. Am I ready to go sleep? No. I'd like to actually exit a level for once. The first time I'm actually trying and can't figure out how. I just got to go out behind my house and then cry a little bit. Moving on to a level called Star Wars Vader Sim. Well, once again, I don't think this is necessarily gonna be much of a level. It's gonna be more so a quick and easy slaughter. <laughs> Cause I've seen this scene like a hundred times. It's amazing. It's that scene that bridges the ending of Rogue One to the original trilogy, where Vader is just slicing through everyone dumb enough not to run. Or in some cases, choking. Do you think Darth Vader's ever had to deal with a henchman or a rebel that was into getting choked? You know, he starts force choking them and they tell him to go harder. <laughs> Search your feelings, Luke. You know it to be true. I am your force choke me daddy. <laughs> I hate myself. What are you all looking at? You really shouldn't be kink shaming the guy with the lightsaber. I'm telling you that much right now. <laughs> now, who has the plans? Uh, I think that might have been Rose. Did I just cut Rose in half? You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> it looked exactly like her. I'm sure most people won't mind that. I'm just looking for robot plans. Anybody got any uh, plans that we're in a robot? Anybody? One of them's gold. Sounds a little bit strange. One of them looks like a vacuum. Also sounds a little bit strange. Oh, hi. Oh. Uh. I don't think Obi Wan could do that. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I mean, I know that you said if I strike you down, you'll be stronger than anyone would ever imagine or something yeah. like that, but I, I, it's kind of hard to remember the quote when half brain is missing. What if I, there we go. It was the toe that was his weakness all along. Hey, I'm still, still not finding those planes. Uh, guys? Yeah, as expected, they got away. Okay, well, let's start the trilogy then. Our final level for today is called The Day They Took Over, and then in brackets, Fluffles. I'm really surprised that the entire Paint the Town Red community has taken on the name Fluffles for these guys. <laughs> I'm assuming you guys all took over. I'm a little bit concerned that there are many Fluffles. Oh, uh, can you not swing that around? It looks like a baby arm doing curls. It's not okay. <laughs> so why exactly did we take over? Kind of concerning. I'm gonna grab a weapon right now and see what's going on outside. Oh, I feel like I should be on their team. I, I don't trust Fluffles to run the world. I mean, look at his giant square nips. He can barely run his own life. <laughs> what's going on over here? Oh, what are you guys up to? Oh, they, they, they got you working, huh? All right, well, let's just free you guys real quick with death <laughs> and then they don't seem to care all that much. Weird, okay, well, I guess we'll just deal with everything in here first. Oh, we're just executing prisoners now, are we? And we'll have some in-house fighting. Guys, come on, calm it down. All you gotta do, there you see, that was so easy. <laughs> don't need to stab through one another. Here, I got an idea. This is how we will start the war. Opening salvo, eh, there we go. Let's see them say no to that. <laughs> Charge! <laughs> I did not want to follow a bunch of naked men into battle. Uh, guys? Okay, they just decided to go for the ones in the back. Cool, see if I care. I'll deal with all that heavy shield, guys. There we go. Gotta do the jump stabs. You guys okay? They're kind of asleep. Can you guys maybe get moving? Come on, come on, get moving. There you go. Get some pep in your step. I'm seriously gonna die of old age if I have to wait for them to get to the battle. One of them is even going back. Where are you going? I don't even care. It just it, it really doesn't matter. I, I know I should care, but I could just stab all of these guys in the back and then problem solved. Right? Yeah, just pop some heads. Oh no, never mind. I gotta fight you two. Yeah, there can be no fluffles remaining. Hey, stop it! Okay. I should feel betrayed, but I guess in all reality I was about to stab him in the dick. 
I got stabbed to death by a naked man with a spear and my arm is perpetually running. You know what? I think that's a good place to end the video. So I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. Some really good levels this week. I gotta say, all of this stuff has been made in the last few days, and if people are really getting into making stuff with the most recent update, then I'll be able to return more often. And if you guys wanna see that, as always, be sure to like this video, let me know, and I'll return to check out more weird levels and non-levels. I love them all equally. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.